Okay, the circle has that equation. The radius of C is 5 root true, find, find value of K. So the center of the circle is uh, divide by 2 and change the signs, 1 minus 4. And the radius is the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared minus C. And that's supposed to equal 5 root 3. So that means root 17 minus K equals 5 root 3. So that means 17 minus K, if you square everything, is 75. 5 root 3 squared. Yeah, 75. So that means K will be 17 minus 75 minus 58. Find the slope of the tangent. We could use implicit derivatives, so differentiating implicitly. So implicit derivative, bring down the power, reduce the power by one, and multiply by the inside derivative. Bring down the power, reduce the power by one, multiply by the inside derivative, equals the derivative of 20, which is zero. Oh, one second, I have a message coming through. Okay, let's uh, resume. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, the derivative here. Bring down the power, reduce the power of one, bring down the power, reduce the power of one. Okay, so by rearranging this, you can get dy dx equals minus x minus 5 over y plus 2, sub in the points 9 and minus 4. So that would be minus uh, 9 minus 5 over minus 4 plus 2. which is 2. Two circles, each both have the x-axis and the y-axis as tangents, and each contains the point 1 minus 8, as shown in the diagram of the scale. Find the equation of each of these circles. Hmm. That's a bit of an unusual one. Nothing, nothing gone beforehand to help me, I think. So the trick here is to realize that this circle has its center at or minus or. And this circle here has its center, well, it'll be a different radius, so maybe we should call that capital or. Um, minus, uh, sorry, or and minus or out or and down minus or but there's two circles all right so that's a bit of a distraction we'll imagine there's only one circle and i'm guessing it'll be a quadratic i'll get two solutions for or a big one and a small one so the equation of this circle will be x minus or squared plus y minus minus or squared equals or squared. And then I sub in this point and I'll make a quadratic in or. So that will be one minus or squared plus minus eight plus or squared equals or squared. One minus two or plus or squared plus 64 minus 16 or uh, plus or squared equals or squared. Cancel, cancel, or squared minus 18 or plus 65 equals zero. Or minus 13 or minus five, as predicted, a small one and a big one. So the two circles are x, so or is 5 or 13. So it'll be x minus 5 squared plus y plus 13 squared. Oh, sorry, I'm mixing them up. Plus 64 
plus 5 squared equals 25. And then x minus 13 squared plus y plus 13 squared equals 169. Can I actually check if these are right? Because I have some graphing software. x minus 5 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 25. And then the same again, but just replaced with 13. Let's see what it looks like. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, that kind of checks out with the picture, doesn't it? 1 minus 8 should be here. Yeah. I can buy that. 